Welcome back to the 2015 Level 2 Calculus Exam Paper Walkthrough. In this question, I'm going to be covering question 3, okay? So question 3. The velocity v to meters per second of an object t seconds after it passes a fixed point can be modelled by the function v of t equals to 4t cubed minus t squared plus 2t. Find the equation for the acceleration of the object. Once again, we're going to back to our a, v, and d. Okay, as you can see, we have our velocity. Okay, we're going to differentiate to find the acceleration. So we're going to say that our a of t, sorry, our a of t equals to 12t squared minus 2t plus, um, yeah, plus 2. And getting this correct uh, will just get you an achieved grade here. All right, find the equation of the tangent of a curve. f of x equals to x cubed minus 2x squared plus x. At the point 2, 2 on the curve, okay? First thing we do, we find out our gradient function, okay? So f dash of x equals 2, oh, equals to 3x squared minus 4x plus 1. Okay, so what is our gradient at the point of x equals to 2? So simply we substitute x equals to 2. Equals to um, 12 minus 8 plus 1 f dash of 2 equals to 5. So if we use our y equals to mx plus c, so that means our y equals to 5x plus c. So now all, we also have our y value, okay, so we're going to say that 2 equals to 5x, uh, no, 5, we know that our x value is 2, so 5 times 2 plus c. Our 2 equals to 10 plus c, c therefore equals to negative 8. So therefore your um, equation will be y equals to 5x minus 8. And getting your y equals 5x minus 8 here will get you a merit grade here. To get an achieved, you're finding the derivative and gradient. So derivative and your gradient here. That will get you an achieved. Alright, moving along. In the area surrounding a farming airstrip, there is a height restriction for fireworks of 50 meters. The height h meters above the ground reached by the fireworks t seconds after it is fired can be modeled by the function h equals to 20t minus 5t squared. Will the fire... Will the firework break the five meter limit? Okay, so we're gonna substitute our um, we're gonna find our differential uh, find our derivative, and we're gonna substitute the uh, gradient equals to zero in order to find our turning point. Okay, to find our maximum turning point, and we're gonna see whether this maximum turning point is more or less than fifty meters. Okay, so h dash of t that equals to twenty minus ten t, zero equals to twenty minus ten t. So therefore, t equals to two. We're going to substitute t equals to 2 back into this formula to see whether it is more or less than 50 meters. So h of 2 equals to 40 minus 20. And that actually gives us 20 meters. 20 meters is less than 50. So therefore, uh, it does not break the rule. Okay. And that will get you your merit grade here. Okay, so um, uh, correct conclusion and correct calculation gets you a, a merit. To get an achieved, okay, you're finding the correct t value. That's here, getting the correct t equals to 2 will get you an achieved. Alright, moving right along. For a function y equals to negative ax squared plus bx plus c, a, b, and c are positive numbers and b equals to 2a. On a grid below, sketch the gradient function. <coughs> Show the value of all intercepts. The y dash intercept should be given in terms of b. Okay, so we know that b equals to 2a. So we can rewrite this equation. And we can rewrite b here as 2a, right? So instead of, um, instead of this equation here, we can write y equals to negative ax squared. Uh, we can say, instead of b, we can say plus 2ax plus c. Okay, if we differentiate to find y dash, y dash equals to negative 2ax plus... Um, plus 2a plus c, okay? So basically, uh, we can rewrite our, because it says it gives in terms of b, right? So we can't, we have to get rid of all the a's and replace them as b's, okay? So if we say y dash equals to negative 2ax, this 2a here, the, um, oh sorry, the plus c is gone. Uh, the plus 2a here can be rewritten as b, because b equals to 2a. So you say that this is plus b. And this 2a here can also be written, rewritten as a b here. So you can say y dash equals to negative bx plus b. Okay? 
So we have our y dash equals to negative bx plus c. Oh, no, negative plus, plus b, okay? So now we're going to find out our x and uh, y intercepts, okay? So when y equals to 0, so sorry, when our gradient equals to 0, so when y dash equals to 0, we have our b, uh, x plus b, okay? <coughs> sorry. So, okay, so we just to find our uh, x intercepts here, okay? So, uh, so what, how, uh, so what will x be in order to give our equation equals to 0? As you can see, uh, if x equals to 1, okay, if x equals to 1, then 0 equals to negative b times 1 plus b, 0 equals to negative b plus b, and that indeed equals to 0. So therefore, our x intercept is 1. So, what about our y intercept? For our y intercept, we substitute our x value is 0. So we're going to say that y dash equals to negative b times 0 plus b. This goes away because anything times 0 is 0. So therefore, our y, our y intercept will be b. So we have our x intercept is 1, and our y intercept equals to uh, our y intercept is b. Okay? So all we have to do here, okay, we're going to say is that our y intercept here, so if we just say this point is b, and we're going to say that our x intercept here, uh, here, yeah, that would just be 1. Okay, we're just going to draw a straight line right through. It doesn't have to be perfect, okay? We just have to acknowledge B and 1 here. So we have our B and 1. Okay, this is pretty hard to draw. Alright, so we have our B... Um, so we have our uh, y intercept is b and our x intercept is 1, okay? And so um, we have y intercept is b and x intercept is 1, yep. Um, yep, that just getting this correct graph plotted here, that gets you an excellence grade here. To get a merit grade, okay, uh, you only have one intercept. So you either have the positive b or you have the 1 that will get you a merit grade. To get an achieved grade, you're looking at the correct grading function found. So you find the y dash correctly. So you had this is correct. I'll get you cheat. Okay, moving on. Why is the value of x after three has been subtracted and the answer doubled and x is between negative zero point five and three? Find the maximum and minimum values of the product x squared y. So first you have to write y in terms of x. Okay. So uh, y is the value of x after 3 has been subtracted, so y minus 3, and then the answer doubled, and x is, be uh, sorry, and x is between negative 0 0.5 and 3. So that, uh, if we have that equals to x, okay? So basically, we're going to say that x squared, um, so x equals, to, uh, x equals to 2 times y minus 3, so we're going to say 2 of... Um, uh, Uh, okay, yeah. So x squared to so 2 uh, y minus 3, if we expand that, that becomes 2y minus 6 equals to x, okay? And therefore, um, uh, we can say that 2y minus 6 squared, um, no, it doesn't work. Um, um, that equals to x, so y would equal... Uh, y equals 2, x plus 6, divided by 2, equals to y, okay? So we're going to say that x squared times of x plus 6 divided by 2 is our product. So therefore, um, uh, that equals our product here. So therefore, we can say that x cubed plus 6x squared divided by 2 is our product here. Um... Um, yeah, that should be right. Um, so therefore, we have um, one and a half x cubed plus three x squared equals to our product. So find the maximum and minimum. Uh, so therefore, we're going to differentiate. So p dash equals to um, one point five x squared plus six x. That equals to uh, p dash. So therefore, um, um, therefore, uh, 
Um, therefore, Jesus, um, therefore we have our P dash, okay, so we have zero, we substitute dog weight equals zero, equals to, we take the 1.5 out, so, X, X, um, What am I doing? Um, X. What's one? What's six to have? One point five. Four. Yep. Hmm. Yep, okay, so we should get our answer as x equals to 0, or x equals to negative 4. Hmm, it's not quite right. x is between negative 4, it's 1.5 and 3. So it probably did something wrong at the start here, so let me just take a look. Um, Why is the value of x after 3 has been subtracted and the answer doubled? Yep. Um, 2y minus 6, yep. And move 6 to the other side, divide by 2. Hmm. I don't really know what the problem is right now. Um, 2x squared. I think it did. Oh, they might be referring it to the other way around. I think I understand what they mean. Oh, okay. That's pretty bad wording, I must say. That is not very good wording at all. So, why is the value of x after 3 has been subtracted from x, not y, okay? So, so y equals 2. x minus 3 whole square uh, times by 2. So, therefore, y equals to 2x minus 6. Okay, so therefore, we have our x squared here. Our x squared uh, times by 2x minus 6. That should be right. Um, that should give us our um, product here. Therefore, this should give us 3x, no, 2x, sorry. 2x cubed minus 6x squared equals to p. p dash equals to 6x squared minus 12x. p, uh, we substitute it equals to 0. So 0 equals to 6x x minus 2. And therefore, our x equals to zero or two. There we go. That's the right. That's what. That's right. I must say that's pretty poor wording there. That's not. That's terrible wording to be honest. That's just not poor. Um, it's fine. Okay. So x equals to two or x equals to um zero. Okay. So um, just for our answer. So we find our second derivative test. Okay. So p double dash equals to twelve x minus twelve. P double dash of 2 equals to 12. This is positive, therefore this is a minimum turning point. Okay, so P, uh, P double dash of 0 equals to negative 12. This is negative, therefore this is a maximum. Okay, so therefore uh, find our maximum and minimum values, okay? So you've got to substitute these points back into the equation, okay? So we have our P equals to 2x cubed minus 6x squared. P of 0, okay, so any x to the power, uh, 0 to the power of 3 is still 0, and x to the power of 2 is still 0, so this will just give us 0, so we have our, um, so our, uh, this is our maximum value here, okay, our minimum value is when x, uh, when p, when x, sorry, our minimum value is when x equals to 2, so p of 2 equals 2, uh, 16 minus, um, 24, that gives us negative 8, okay, 
And that should be our final answer here. So we just say this is a minimum. Okay. And this is uh, getting our excellence grade here. To get a merit grade, okay, you're finding the um, value of the product found or both y values found. Okay, so if you find both y values found but without the double, but without the second derivative test, you'll get a merit only. Okay, so you have to do the double derivative test in order to get the excellence grade, okay? So uh, to get an achieved, you have the relationship correctly formed and correctly differentiated. So you're forming a relationship so and correctly differentiated, that's here. That'll get you an achieved here. All right. Thank you for watching this video, okay? I'm sorry about the last question there, okay? The wording was pretty trash, okay? I thought it was the other way around, okay? So, um, sorry about that, okay? But thank you for watching the video. I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.